from the knife room. Frankie, you're supposed to say something? Hey! Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. We're checking out an Italian knife today. Yes. An Italian EDC folder. Mm -hmm. Fox knives. This is one you chose. It is one I chose because it's awesome little knife. I love it. So yes, it is a smaller knife. We'll get to it here in a second, but... It kind of looks like I matched the Fox brand a little bit, even that's, though it's kitty cats. That's the dress she wore to mm -hmm. work today. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, it is Fox it Knives. It on it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Fox Knives. Cool logo. Mm-hmm. Out of Italy. There you can see it on the box. We're going to unbox it as if it's the very first time. It's but, not uh, the first time, guys. No, we, we actually have Been both... Been there, done that. Yeah, we've both <laughs> EDC'd this knife. Yeah. I go. love their logo too. Is that a removable it patch? It is, yeah, it is. So you can put your little fox patch anywhere you want. That's cool. I didn't even realize that until yeah. just now. Wow. All right. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> it's a really nice one too. It's hardcore. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're taking a look at the Fox Knives Italico. Italico. If I'm saying it right. Yeah, I would yeah. say so. I think so. Yeah, you or, say sorry. it with your hands. Say it with your hands. Italico. Yeah. Right. Yep. So let's take a look at this little thing. It's a little baby, well, it's technically a sheep's foot, but it looks like a little, just a little cleaver. So it's a small knife, but it's not that small. No, it's not. It's, I EDC'd it all day today. Okay. And I used it a couple times, cardboard and some paper and actually some plastic. What did you think of it? Um, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. It's a little small for my hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Not I what have, you said last night. I have, see, that doesn't even. It completely goes. I have the XL hands. Frankie, show your hand. Oh my show God. your hands, though. I know. Okay, well, I was going to put it up against yours, but it's awkward when I do it like Frankie's that. Frankie's got the small hands. I got baby small, small hands. Frankie, small hands. Here. Okay. Oh, you but get the first go. flip. It's not the first flip. Don't lie to the people. It is a flipper, uh -huh. flipper tab. It's pretty much flipper only. Yeah. Liner lock. This version is G10. I think, I believe there's five different versions total. There's not a lot available at the moment. Well, okay. So this G10 version, it uh -huh. has premium blade steel. Yes, it is 390 It is made in Italy, so that brings up the price. Uh -huh. 179.25. Yes. Okay. There's a micarta version uh -huh. that's... At mm -hmm. least... 160. It's 160, so it's a little less than this. Also M390. Uh -huh. That is currently sold out of Blade HQ, but then there's two more versions. Titanium. That, yeah, that are more expensive. The price jumps kind of way up. Ooh, ooh. Uh, 284 and 314. Right. But uh, think of how awesome this would be in titanium. It'd it be, would. It'd be really cool. It would. I we'll really, do, really like it. We'll do some com uh, comparisons later on with the... Kaiser Sheepdog. Yeah, we thought that was kind of the most comparable in kind of the same price range, too. In our collection that we could come up with, yeah. Yeah, but look how perfect this fits my hand. Like, my finger goes right in there and then gets four fingers on there. It's don't, kind of a thick jump on there. Don't make me edit, I was going to say. Uh, well, no, I'm not. I'm just and I, I, it, it curves right in and it fits perfectly. Yeah. It just does. So, jumping on the blade stock at the uh -huh. top there of the spine. And it is, it's a thicker blade stock, you can tell, because you can get your thumb on there pretty good. So, this is my hands. It's a three finger grip, thumb uh -huh. on the jimping, and it works. It's good. How does it cut? It's very nice. Uh -huh. It's very nice. So, the blade, we're talking, there we go, see if we can get a focus. M390. Yep. Oh, the designer. I actually thought that was an R when I first looked at it. I did too. Antonio. De Gennaro, if I'm saying that right. It sounds perfect. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, that's the designer. Yes. It's the satin finish. I think on all the blades, maybe one of them is a different uh, uh, blacked out version. Oh, okay. That'd be cool. Yeah. So, satin finish on the blade. Let's. What is the blade stock? Let's check it. Yeah. I feel like it's a little bit thicker. Yeah, I do too. So, at the thickest point. Point one three. 0.137, you could, you could round up a little you bit. You could. Yeah. We always tend to round up when we're measuring things around here. <laughs> um, 0.49 is the blade handle thickness. 0.496, just yeah. about 0 0.50, which we consider exactly average. Well, and it has just a basic wire clip, but I like it. I've oh. always liked wire clips. I guess we didn't really get out too many other wire clips, but we no. do love the wire clips. Yeah. It carries very discreet. Basic and barrel it's, spacers. Yeah, it's a nice carry. Let me show the... Right hand spacers. only. Thank goodness. <laughs> As I left hand the knife. I carried yeah. this lefty today. It doesn't matter that much. I know. I, do. I know. It really doesn't. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, it is on bearings. The, the access to the liner 
for large hands is a little little tight, a little cramped. Mm, uh -huh. But for you, is it? I don't know. Oh, what do it's you think? perfect. Yeah, I could care less. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's good. So that's. I don't know. Coming up with complaints about it, it's like... Well, you're just it, too big for it. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big guy and this is a little knife. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so that's the only real complaints I can come up with it is, is that it's... And maybe that it's a little expensive, but hey, we look at a lot of Chinese knives. Yeah. Chinese knives are the least expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, and in that, the Kaiser Sheepdog is really right about... 200 bucks if you're do getting one of the premium ones yeah but that's copper or titanium though. yeah well then you can get like the really basic but then you're not getting a nice blade steel um you're getting s35vn yeah those. with those guys but no but i mean like the budget one oh Wait, true i could grab it but let me see what well actually yeah get out one of the g10 versions yeah it likes the push button. i mean it's 154 cm Okay, on a budget version. Yeah. But aren't those like 70 or 80? Yeah, it is. Yeah. But like double it. So, I mean, it really is a similar <laughs> so size. So just, just double. Just Whatever. double the price. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. So, here's just the standard size sheepdog. We'll go ahead and <laughs> keep that one out there too. Okay. It's the most comparable. I don't know. I got this Gavco um, drop nurse out because it, technically it's a Warncliffe but I kind of just put them all in the same category as what sheep's foot yeah, well the, no well technically it's a sheep's foot but it kind of has the same profile yeah and there's a full sheep claw Curtis knives mm -hmm. but this is like knife. 600 bucks <laughs> that's well that's a full custom yeah, it yeah. Is. Um, and then I brought out the MKM because it's part of so the Italian kind of group this is an Italian knife, the MKM, mm -hmm. Fox Vox. Uh, we got a whole video on this knife, I think. This is a sub brand. Yeah, this of is Fox MKM. Knives. Yeah. Okay, and then we have that also, which is this MKM. This is no, this is a Fox. That is Fox. Yeah, this All is right. the baby core. Okay, so if you want an inexpensive Italian Fox knife, yeah, that's like eighty bucks. With some garbage on this. It's scale. probably your skin. Because you shed Cause, like a snake. Because you EDC this one all the time? Um, okay. You picked it up. If you want an inexpensive Italian fox knife, this uh -huh. one's what? I think 80. 70 or 80? Yeah, I think maybe like 679. It's Six. a good price. Yeah, it really is. It's a great little knife, too. And actually, I will say right away that the access to the liner is a little better on this knife. Don't be a butthead. Well, I'm just saying. Okay. Then you can have this one, and I'll have this one. And we can carry our fox size. Roughly the same size. Fox size. <laughs> so, fox yeah. sizes. What else do we have to say about it? Yeah, you get uh, the choice of, ultimately, G10, Micarta, or two titanium versions. Yeah. Flipper only. Okay, so we get used to flickable knives a lot. Mm -hmm. There's no built-in no, holes there's no or, or cutouts. There's no flickability. It's just the push button just flipper tab. Flipper bit -lity. I guess. I guess light switch works too. Here, should I see how many she weighs? Yeah, go for it. 3.379. Yeah. Well, it's the average thickness. There's a little it bit more material there. There is a little bit more heft to them. I'm not going to say it's chunky, but... Uh, what's this, just out of curiosity? That's the most comparable size-wise and material-wise. This one's lighter. Let's just see. 3.15. Pretty close. Yeah. Pretty close. This one's thicker. Is there milling on the inside? Can you tell? Um, of the liners? I don't think there no, is. No, there's not. Mm -mm. Barely. No. But those are for hardware. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard, tough to tell. We, we haven't taken this one apart. No. But it is very smooth. I like the case it comes with. Detent is very nice. Yeah. You can't not flip it out. You know what I mean? Like I some can. Of them, I can. Oh, okay. Because I suck. But Yeah, that's true. No, it's just uh, with Frankie's small hands, it's going to be a little easier. Mm -hmm. It's a great little knife. I like it a yeah. lot. It carries very well. I love and it. And the G10 has a little texture to it. It's a very faint. Yeah. Um, you can see a little cross hatching in it. Okay. If you actually like feel it. Which gives it a Get tiny. Get in there and feel it, feel it. Which gives it a tiny bit of grip. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what else about it? Um, it's cool. I like their logo a lot. Did we? I, I don't even think I said the actual blade length. It's two point three seven five. Yeah. And of M390. Somebody asked me why I measure over here. It's because the numbers start over here. 
Oh, yeah, on this mat? <laughs> yeah, because they, they were like, How, why do you reach over there? To well, somebody's going to want to know what this mat is. What brand is this? I don't know. Didn't we get it on, isn't it a Amazon? A long time ago, yeah. I, th I think it was an Amazon purchase. No, no, it's a great, oh, here. It's a um, Vantage Cutting Map. <laughs> map? Yeah. Mat. <laughs> <laughs> It All looks right. like a map. Sail across the ocean. It could be. The island of... Bypass the sheep, large sheep, sheep yeah, dog. Yeah, okay, yeah. And go around the... Something creative. Isanzo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, whatever. That's but it, But overall, here, I was going to just say, it's still overall under six inches. Okay. So, yeah. No, it carries very nice. If you have blade length restrictions, this is a very good one. Mm -hmm. It's the sheep's foot, so it's maybe a little less piercy, but... What's the sheep's foot good for? I mean, they're a little, they're a little safer in an emergency situation. They're a little, you can press them up against things without worrying about piercing. Per Ben, it says the blade shape has oh. a near blunt tip to avoid puncturing. Useful for first responders and working among inflatables like river rats. Yeah, you can press the knife backwards against something like upside yeah. down and, and not worry about like hurting the material of something sensitive. And you know Ben doesn't lie. He knows his facts about knives. Talking to Ben, Ben of Ben Banters. Yeah, yes. poster of his. <laughs> but no, that's the Italico by Fox Knives. That's super cool. What do you guys think? Oops. We're gonna tell everybody that we have a ton of Italian sports cars too. Oh well, yeah. Remember? We love Italian knives. Obviously, mm -hmm. um, we've had our share of Italian sports cars. Well, I mean, we do have a Ferrari flag in the knife room. Yeah. We've always been Ferrari fans, and we have like three of them out front, right? Well, and didn't you just park your Lambo in the garage? Um, I just crashed the Lambo in the front yard. Oh, whoops. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I, I misjudged the <laughs> garage again. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll we'll get on the insurance about that, but no doubt we're going to get another f Italian car. Uh, right. Replacement. So. I, I roll the Lambo all yeah. the time. All right. Anyway, <laughs> jokes aside, this is the Fox Knives Italico. Really cool. Uh, a little too small for my hands, but a you know what? A Fiat's more our style. A Fiat, sure. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is. Okay. I would All have right. a Fiat. No, we'll put links into Blade HQ if you made it this far. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure mm -hmm. to subscribe, too. Yeah. And, and yeah. follow us on Instagram, too. Instagram. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye. From the knife room, you're supposed to say something. Hey. Yeah. That's that's it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say because I've forgotten.